Hi there everyone, welcome back again to Engineering Preterm and in this PTC Creo Parametric series. This video is going to be 71th video on this playlist where we are right now covering pattern tool and in this specific video we will be talking about curve pattern. If you want to see other variant of pattern then do check out the playlist where we have added other variants of pattern. And be sure to subscribe to follow Engineering Preterm to follow complete PTC Creo Parametric series and other engineering related topics. Now let's come back to today's topic, which is how we can create curve pattern in PTC Creo Parametric. Okay, so for that, first of all, as the name suggests, we required a curve. And for example, in this particular case, I would like to create curve here. So uh, let's use sketch tool. And I can actually select the arc, but that would be pretty simple. Let's select the spline, which forms the curvature continuous which means that the radius will vary at every point. Now, after creating this curve, let's click OK. And now let's say I would like to add a hole along this curve. So what I can do here is I can add point here that will help me to locate the hole. And then a curve alone cannot directly serve as a reference for features placement unless it has a specific control point or datum point. That's why I am adding this point and then taking a reference of this sketch. So make sure that you take a reference of this sketch. And now this point will fulfill the requirement of hole to locate the hole in this 2D plane. Okay. Now let me click here on hole and then I'm going to select this point of which will act as a parent and indirect pattern. Or I would say this curve is a grandfather of this hole. Okay. Now let me click here on hole and let's select this point as a placement. And now I'm going to select this surface and let's make it through all. So we have taken the reference of a point, uh, which is like parent of the soul. And then this curve act as a grandparent of this hole. So basically we can say the curve is a grandfather of this hole. Now let's click. Okay. And now let's again uh, click on this hole and then click on pattern and this time um, I'm going to select curve. Okay. So even let's say if somebody may get confused, uh, why can't we select point? But there's only one point, right? Uh, again, let's go back here, select curve. Now I'm going to select this curve and there we go. So here you can see how many multiple instances being created. And then again, I'm going to click on number of member and can uh, either, you know, simply provide the number of instances needed. It will automatically create equal space or you can even provide spacing. And then based on spacing, you will see the number of instances being created. So I would say it is totally up to us. Now uh, let's click OK. And there we go, guys. We have formed this feature along this curve. So in this way, guys, you can utilize this curve pattern in PTC Creo Parametric. And as always, you can dynamically edit it or you can also go to edit definition and can customize it by enabling or disabling certain points. That's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If so, then please do like and subscribe to Engineering Preetam to follow complete PTC Creo Parametric series. And do also check out other engineering topics that we have covered in this channel. And if you have got any kind of doubts or question in your mind, feel free to ask in comment down below. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.